One of the best new features in iPadOS 15 is Quick Note, giving you the ability to quickly jot down bits of information, save links, and even add text and images from Safari. Quick Note can be invoked from any app, on any screen, at any time. Here's everything you need to know about using Quick Note on iPadOS 15. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. Let's begin by learning how to launch Quick Note. And one of the things you need to remember is that Quick Note is not an app. It's attached to the Notes app. It's a feature of the Notes app. And to launch it, you can go ahead and come down to the bottom right corner of your iPad and begin to swipe in. And as you do, a small box will begin to appear. Continue to swipe until the full Quick Note screen appears. Once you have the full Quick Note window up, you can go ahead and tap on the screen and a cursor will appear and that enables you to type using your uh, external keyboard, a Bluetooth keyboard if you have one, or the keyboard that's attached uh, to your iPad. I have a Magic Keyboard, so I can go ahead and just start typing on my uh, Magic Keyboard and you'll see that I can, you know, just jot a quick note if I want to. If I want to use the Apple Pencil or a stylus, if I tap on markup in the lower right corner, right here, if I tap on that, I can then choose my tool that I want to use. And once I do, I can start, you know, drawing or doing whatever it is I want to. Uh, the other options you have here are this window can be moved by grabbing the gray bar right here and dragging it anywhere you want that window to appear on the screen. You also have the option to tap on these four boxes, which will take you back into the Notes app, and I'll show you that in a minute. You have some options here to delete or share this note, and when you're done with that, all you'll want to do is tap Done, and that will take that note back down into the right corner of the screen. So I'll go ahead and tap done so you can see that. Now when I swipe up from the right corner of the screen, that note is going to reappear. So if I want to do a new note, I'll just need to tap on the box with the pencil in it, and now I've created a new note. And now if I want, I can tap on the four squares and that's going to take me into the Notes app. And if I tap here in the upper left hand corner where it looks like a little book, if I tap on that, you'll see that a new folder is there in iPad OS 15 called Quick Notes, which is where all of your notes, will, your Quick Notes will be kept unless you transfer them over to one of your other uh, folders or into iCloud. So if I push and hold on the note, you'll see that I have some options appear to pin the note, share the note, send a copy, move the note, or delete the note. So I can move that note to another folder inside iCloud Notes. If you're using a Bluetooth keyboard or an external keyboard like the Magic Keyboard for the iPad, you don't even need to touch the screen to bring up the Quick note. If you just tap on the globe key in the bottom left hand corner and the Q key, that will automatically bring up a uh, quick note. You just touch the globe key first and then the Q, and you'll see that the quick note uh, appears in the bottom right corner. So let's get to the cool features the quick note can do when it interacts with Safari. I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up Safari. And I already have it on a web page uh, where I want to save this shoe in case I want to buy it later. And so I'm going to swipe up from the bottom right corner of the screen to bring up the quick note. 
And right at the very top of the quick note, we're going to go ahead and add a new note by tapping on the square with the pencil. And here you'll see at the very top, add link. So if I tap on that, immediately a link uh, to this particular shoe uh, is, is placed in the quick note so that I can come back to that at any time, tap on that link, and it's going to bring me back to that web page. And I'll show you that in a minute. But I want a picture of the shoe. So I'm going to grab a picture by pushing and holding on the shoe. And I'm going to drag that picture into the screen. And then one more thing I'm going to do is I am going to grab some text so it reminds me why I want to buy that shoe. So I'm going to highlight the text, push and hold on it, and then go ahead and just drag it in there. And so now we've added an image, we've added a link, and we've added uh, some text. I can go ahead and tap done when I'm finished and that will uh, add that quick note to the quick notes folder. So I'm gonna swipe out of Safari. I'm gonna come into the, to the notes app and you'll see that I have two notes inside the uh, quick notes folder. If I tap on the folder section at the top, you'll see my quick notes folder here. If I open up the note that we created uh, with the link and I tap on the link, you'll see that it brings me right back to the website where I, I created that link from. If you find yourself a frequent user of Quick Note, you can even add a shortcut into the control panel of your iPad. And to do this, we'll just come in to the Settings app, scroll down until you see Control Center, tap on that, scroll down to where it says More Controls, find the Quick Note, and hit the plus sign next to it. And now Quick Note has been added to your Control Center. And so to use that, if I swipe down from the upper right corner of my screen into the Control Center, I'll see the Quick Note box right there that I can tap on and access from the Control Center. That takes care of how to use Quick Note in iPad OS 15. Now you can use the notes as you see fit, edit them, delete them, just as you would a regular note. Taking notes has never been easier or more fun on your iPad. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments section. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.